Hi guys, this is James again from I Am Relations, and we are still working on our keyword tool with Traffic Travis. Now, whenever we ended our last video, I told you we were going to show you how to use this sorter. Okay, so what we're going to do is just click on Send to the Sorter, and this is going to bring up the sorter page. Now, let's go over real quick all the different things you can do here. Okay, you can list modifiers, you can sort, it's got a long list. Here's all different things that you can use to modify your list with. Okay, if you look down here, you're going to see your main keyword list. This is how many keywords you have in your main list. And we're going to ignore this count, but what I want to do is see right here where it's keyword. That's going to sort them by alphabetical order. This is going to kind of help me keep it a little organized as I scroll through and look at what we've got. Now, you want to look right here and kind of view th through uh, your list and kind of get an idea of some of the off-topic things that it's showing. But um, we're going to go through how to get rid of some of those because we're going to get rid of a lot of these keywords here in just a few minutes. But you can see just over 800 keywords that we got off of our initial list. So we need to sort some of that out. Now, one of the things that we need to start looking at at this point is what type of keywords we want. You want highly targeted buying keywords for your list. Um, if you're using keywords that aren't people that are going to buy, then you're wasting your time pretty much. You might drive a whole bunch of traffic. You know, I saw a guy that had a site that he was ecstatically happy because he had over a thousand visitors a day to his site and we started talking about how many sales he was making and he was like making two sales a month the reason why was because he targeted all these easy to rank for keywords but they weren't buying keywords so that's one of the things you need to pay attention to uh, that's why I search for a lot of problems problems are great and especially in this relationship niche they're problems that are dealing with people's emotions. That's something that you also need to look at. Is it emotional? Because if you can touch people's emotions with what you're writing, and especially with your keywords themselves, you're going to have a higher chance of getting somebody to buy something. So look here. Okay, now we're going to look here. You can do different searches here. The, what this search here is going to do is search through this list and compile two different lists. Okay, you can do either a phrase match or a broad match. I tend to stick with the phrase match uh, so that my keyword list here is going to be relevant to what I want it to say. So you have two different lists here and they're going to be used in different ways. Now first of all, let's start by sorting out our keyword list. Now first thing, right down here you see it says remove duplicate phrases. So you want to select that and then collect do it. And actually, hey, I only had one duplicate item in that entire keyword list. So go ahead and remove that. Now you want to go back and remove phrases with less than X words. Okay, this is important because if you th look at the competition for your keywords, the longer the keyword phrase you use, um, three to five words is usually what you want to look for. Okay, I'm looking for phrases with less than three keywords. Okay, it's going to remove anything less than three keywords. It's going to remove it from my list. I lost 113 items with less than three. But those are keywords that are not going to be relevant to my site. Now, I'm seeing right here, I'm already seeing some things that I don't want on my page. Public health. Okay, I have nothing to do with public health. So I want to come over here to this search keyword list where it says phrase match and search. Okay, I'm going to enter it in public health search. Again, this is usually a little bit faster. Okay, now I pulled up nine keywords with the words public health and that's going to take my keyword list down to 677. So I'm going to hit replace keywords. And if you notice now, I'm at 677. Now I want to go poetry. Now 
again just kind of search through and find anything that's highly irrelevant to your topic and Dr. Phil I'm not really talking about Dr. Phil so I'm not gonna keep those um, and what we're gonna do is I'm gonna pause for just a minute while I sort this out and then we're gonna show you how to go on okay I'm back sorry for the pause there I now sorted out a lot of my keywords if you notice now I'm down to 474 I'm not even gonna save all of those but I just wanna start making a list now of some of the keywords that I think will be great for my articles now one of the things I wanna do is look here you see 10 signs of a cheating husband 10 signs of an affair these signs of articles are great um, a lot of people will read them but they're not great necessarily for converting traffic um, what I like to do with a lot of those 10 signs is those are the ones I want to use for blogs guest posting on other people's blogs um, they make a great link bait piece for your own blog um, that also make great articles to submit to the directories um, they can get a lot of syndications if they if you do them right and do them well they can get highly syndicated so I'm going to do those and have that have their own list just for those because I know kind of where I'm going to use those is not on my site okay so what I want to do is save a set so now see down here saved sets now I have all those so I'm going to come over here to the non matching keywords and just replace the keyword list because once I have them saved here I don't want to save them again I don't want to have a whole bunch of the same keywords okay so let's go look for okay let's look at cheating husband and again just go through see I got nine keywords there So what you want to do while this is running is just select a good size keyword list. Again, replace and save those. And one of the things you can do to kind of get an idea of what to search for. Okay, look here, controlling jealousy. Now try to keep track of all the different keywords you have and you know if you want to do this in small groups it might be easier to do that when you have a huge list uh, one of the things I found with a, doing a huge list at once is sometimes I lose track of what I've already done um, so extramarital affair So what we're going to do, once we compile this list, I'm going to show you in the save it. And on our next video, we're going to take this list here of all these words that we've said together here now, and we're going to save it here. What we're going to do is the next video, I'm going to show you how to use the Google keyword tool to check on the volume, and then also how to use Google to check on your competition. So we're going to save this as Traffic Travis keyword list um, for jealousy save that and that's it go ahead and don't wait until you've seen everything to start go ahead and do each one of these one video at a time you know as I show you each video go ahead and start doing those steps that way you're ready to go when the next one comes up one of the best things you can do for your business is to take action. I say it all the time, and I'm sure some people are tired of me saying it, but if you don't take action, you're not going to go anywhere. Don't just keep learning. Start working. That's the only way you're going to succeed in this business. So we'll see you next time, and good luck.